They're getting married. Ew. What's up, what's up? Hey. All right, you ready to start packing up? I'm ready. Are you taking like jeans and stuff? I mean, it's Miami. So, you know, I packed some dresses, some little skirts. Going to Miami for the wedding, I'm kind of on the fence. You know, I've got the marital issues going on. But at the end of the day, I do want to be there to support my friend. Not always overpack. Yeah. You know, getting ready for the wedding kind of makes me think a little bit about our wedding day, you know. Ten years ago? Yes. <laughs> our wedding day was perfect. Um, Everything went our way. Uh, we were very happy. But I think what matters the most is being able to make it years after the wedding. It was beautiful, though. Mm-hmm. If I was to get on my knees again, would you not say I did? You wouldn't. <sighs> Seriously? I think that how you view and value marriage and how I view and value has changed, like it's different. I'm gonna say, you wanna say yes? If I were to be able to foresee the future and know all of the stuff that came, no, nobody would say yes to those I don't know, I've given you an amazing life. You've given me an amazing life? I mean, okay. yeah. Martell. Yeah, we've done things together, but yeah, ultimately I've given you a great life, yeah. In a relationship, you're gonna go through some things. I get that. And that's why I stayed with you, Martel. Okay. And, and through your stuff that I don't approve of, I stayed with you too. Because a lot of a lot of times people get divorced because their spouse not cooking all the time or cleaning up. You don't wow. cook every, you don't cook all the time. Do not act like I don't clean up and I don't cook. I clean tubs. I clean toilets. I clean sinks. I do all of that. And you get yourself to your husband. We do have to make a quiet. Thinking about this wedding makes me think about the disappointments that I've experienced with you, which are things that I wasn't expecting to experience. You were 22, you probably weren't expecting anything. I definitely didn't think that you, like, doing what you did would be something that we'd have to deal with, especially not for as long as we had to deal with it. It wasn't like a, oh, I messed up, I'm caught, I'm out, let me stop my wife. No, I'm not going down this road. I think infidelity in a marriage is huge. It's not something that you can ever expect um, to just get over. There are going to be triggers. There are going to be things that cause you to think about what happened and how this person hurt you. Um, period. Like, that's just natural. That's going to happen. When I first started cheating, I think that's what you're talking about. Of course you You wouldn't do what you were supposed to do. And what was that? When I called you. You didn't have time to talk to me. So what okay. were you doing? What was I doing? I always complain. I'm like, hey, why you can't talk to me? I just got, I can't, I don't got time. I got to this me. I'm not this me. Me too. I have means. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, it's about having time for your spouse. You pushed me. You got me more involved, doing more with the company, with the community, with everything else. And it was a setup for the okie doke. Because you, there's you do no that. way. You, I you can have talk so to many you friends. That is no male stop doing certain things. Sexual? Hey, what about okay. sexual? What did you, I say? You, you, you were satisfying me. How? But you, period. I, mean, I, weren't, I wasn't satisfying you sexually? No. Did I, you ever talk to me about that? I, you never say it to me, you're not satisfying me. When we in the bed, I'll say, babe, you ain't gonna do this for me? No. You ain't gonna do that for, no. What you think that is? Okay. That's disappointment. Okay. To your husband to tell him no for anything. Does that open the door for you to be able to step out and do what you want Of course. Do? Okay, so all those years when there were certain things I was telling you that I wanted you to, experience more sexually and do more and you didn't want to, should I have just stepped out? Just ask I can't recall that. You can't, of course, you never can recall what uh, you don't want to recall. What, talk freaky? Okay, I don't want to talk freaky. Yeah, you don't want it, so you open okay. up that door. You have to learn and know the trophy that you have. Okay, when but you the have a woman being a, being a complete trophy if she's not taking care of her husband. You got somebody who can talk to you all the time, who's cooking for you, who's satisfying you sexually. Why don't you take your ass on and be with her? You know uh, that song? What? Filling that void. She felt that void. Well, it sounds like you think you may just need two women. Well, back in the day, in the Bible days, whatever, they had multiple women, so why not? I don't want multiple women. Yes, you do. I just want no, 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 you're not. You're, what's, what you're saying is what you want to say that's in your heart that's coming out. You have to be a grown-up enough to know and accept what is the inevitable. What it is that you need and who I am don't lie. I don't, need it. I don't need it no uh, more. It's okay. I want you to accept and know that it's okay, Martino. What's okay? 
Me no longer being what you need or vice versa. You know, all these people who been married and they end up not together no more, there's a reason they got to that point. I don't because the wife you. continuously try to overtalk the husband and the husband say the damn the hell with it and leave out. That's why. That's why they're no longer together. Who? Stop talking. All these, that's these, it, these that's, people. Just stop talking. All these people. Yeah, it's always because of the woman. Is it? Yes. Maybe I don't have the blueprint for marriage that I thought I had. You started feeling like this is pushing me into cheating, into a place that I know is not right. Did you ever come to me and say, let's go to counseling, babe? Because you didn't care about our relationship that much. Not even that much to say we need to go to counseling. Oh, but I've so heard you tell your friends, y'all just go to counseling. Bill and their wives, y'all need to go to counseling. That was on some probably it extreme doesn't. stuff. Not cheating that extreme? Okay, no, so okay. that stuff was extreme stuff. That ain't serious babe. enough. Stop. That ain't serious enough. It's serious enough. You but know, I told you, so much, you give me a headache. But I'm you, serious. But you I'm going to mess up no more on this trip. Please. But that are missing in your life. Ahead. You need to figure out different ways to communicate with your spouse. Are you divorcing me? I don't know what's about to happen. Okay. But yeah, I know well, one thing. I'm not. I'm not tolerating your voice. If you keep talking like this, I'm going to be the initiator. You are. Yeah, of course. Okay. So you well, stop. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. I don't be playing with it. I don't be playing either. Bye, Martell Hope. Full-blown relationship with somebody else. You made it worse by going okay. to tell everybody. I don't care if I slept with a thousand people. You don't go out and tell people. We keep that in our household. You should have kept your penis in our household.